Get 30 days Audible free trial with the link in the description. Tulsi Gabbard, born April 12, 1981, is an American politician and United States Army Reserve officer who served as the U.S. Representative for Hawaii's 2nd Congressional District from 2013 to 2021. Elected in 2012, she was the first Hindu member of Congress and also the first Samoan American voting member of Congress. She was a candidate for the Democratic nomination in the 2020 United States presidential election. In 2002, Gabbard was elected to the Hawaii House of Representatives at the age of 21. Gabbard served in a field medical unit of the Hawaii Army National Guard while deployed to Iraq from 2004 to 2005 and was stationed in Kuwait from 2008 to 2009 as an Army Military Police Platoon leader. She was a vice chair of the Democratic National Committee from 2013 to 2016, when she resigned to endorse Senator Bernie Sanders for the 2016 Democratic presidential nomination. During her time in Congress, she frequently appeared on Fox News to criticize the Barack Obama administration for refusing to say that the real enemy of the United States is radical Islam or Islamic extremism. During her presidential campaign, she highlighted an opposition to military interventionism, although she has called herself a hawk on terrorism. Her decision to meet Syrian President Bashar al-Assad and her skepticism of claims that he had used chemical weapons were controversial. On March 19, 2020, Gabbard dropped out of the 2020 presidential race and endorsed Joe Biden. She had already withdrawn from her U.S. House re-election race during her presidential campaign and was succeeded by Kai Kahele on January 3, 2021. Early life and family Gabbard was born on April 12, 1981, in Liloiloa, Maoputasi County, on American Samoa's main island of Tutuila. She was the fourth of five children born to Carol, Nay Porter, Gabbard and her husband, Mike Gabbard. In 1983, when Gabbard was two years old, her family moved to Hawaii, where her family had lived in the late 1970s. Gabbard has both Samoan and European descent, and was raised in a multicultural household. Her mother was born in Indiana and grew up in Michigan. Her father was born in American Samoa and lived in Hawaii and Florida as a child. He is of Samoan and European ancestry. Gabbard was raised in part according to the teachings of the Science of Identity Foundation, SIF, religious community and its spiritual leader, Chris Butler. She has said Butler's work still guides her. In 2015, Gabbard called Butler her guru dev, roughly, spiritual teacher. Gabbard's husband and ex-husband have also been members of the community. Gabbard has been reluctant to speak publicly about the SIF. Gabbard embraced the Hindu faith as a teenager. Her first name comes from the Sanskrit word for holy basil, a plant sacred in Hinduism. Her siblings also have Hindu Sanskrit origin names. She was homeschooled through high school except for two years at informal schools in the Philippines. In 1998, Gabbard began working for the Alliance for Traditional Marriage and Values, an anti-gay political action committee her father founded, to pass an amendment giving the Hawaii state legislature the power to reserve marriage to opposite sex couples. She spoke on the organization's behalf as late as 2004. In the wake of the September 11, 2001 attacks, Gabbard worked for another nonprofit that her father founded, Stand Up for America, SUFA, in 2002. While working as a self employed martial arts instructor, Gabbard was the youngest legislator ever elected to represent the 42nd House District of the Hawaii House of Representatives. In 2004, Gabbard volunteered for Army National Guard service in Iraq and chose not to campaign for re-election to the state legislature. Before her deployment to Iraq in 2004, she also worked as an educator for the Healthy Hawaii Coalition. Military service in April 2003, while serving in the Hawaii state legislature, Gabbard enlisted in the Hawaii Army National Guard. In July 2004, she was deployed for a 12-month tour in Iraq, serving as a specialist with the medical company, 29th Support Battalion. 29th Infantry Brigade Combat Team. In Iraq, Gabbard served at Logistical Support Area Anaconda, completing her tour in 2005. In March 2007, she graduated from the Accelerated Officer Candidate School at the Alabama Military Academy. She was commissioned as a second lieutenant, and assigned to the 29th Brigade Special Troops Battalion, 29th Infantry Brigade Combat Team of the Hawaii Army National Guard, this time to serve as an Army Military Police Officer. She was stationed in Kuwait from 2008 to 2009. She was one of the first women to enter a Kuwaiti military facility, as well as the first woman to receive an award of appreciation from the Kuwait National Guard. Gabbard is a recipient of the Combat Medical Badge and the Meritorious Service Medal.
On October 12, 2015, she was promoted from the rank of captain to major at a ceremony at the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific. She continued to serve as a major in the Hawaii Army National Guard until her transfer to the 351st Civil Affairs Command, a California-based United States Army Reserve Unit assigned to the United States Army Civil Affairs and Psychological Operations Command, in June 2020. On August 7, 2018, the Honolulu Star Advertiser reported that the Hawaii Army National Guard had instructed Gabar that a video of her in uniform on her Vote Tulsi Facebook page did not comply with military ethics rules. Gabbard's campaign removed the video and added a disclaimer to the website's banner image of Gabbard in uniform in a veteran's cemetery that the image does not imply an endorsement from the military. A similar situation had happened during a previous Gabbard congressional campaign. A spokeswoman for Gabbard said the campaign would work closely with the Department of Defense to ensure compliance with all regulations. In October of 2020, Gabbard left the Hawaii Army National Guard to join the Army Reserves with a California-based unit. On July 4, 2021, Gabbard was promoted to the rank of lieutenant colonel. Education in 2002, at the age of 21, Gabbard dropped out of Leeward Community College, where she was studying television production, to successfully run for Hawaii State Legislature. In 2009, Gabbard graduated from Hawaii Pacific University with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration with a concentration in international business. Political Career Hawaii House of Representatives, 2002 to 2004. In 2002, after redistricting, Gabbard won the four candidate Democratic primary with a plurality of 48% of the vote. Gabbard then won the general election with 65% of the vote, defeating Republican Alfonso Jimenez. At the age of 21, Gabbard became the youngest legislator ever elected in Hawaii's history, and was at the time the youngest woman ever elected to a U.S. state legislature. During her term of office, Gabbard successfully led opposition to, and protests of, a state bill that would have legalized same-sex civil unions, and urged Hawaiians to support the federal marriage amendment to prevent federal law from overriding state law with regard to same-sex marriage. In 2004, Gabbard filed for re-election, but then volunteered for Army National Guard service in Iraq. Rida Cabanilla, who filed to run against her, called on Gabbard to resign because she would not be able to represent her district from Iraq. Gabbard announced in August 2004 that she would not campaign for a second term, and Cabanilla won the Democratic primary, 64% to 25%. State law prevented the removal of Gabbard's name from the ballot. Honolulu City Council, 2011-2012, after returning home from her second deployment to the Middle East in 2009, Gabbard ran for a seat on the Honolulu City Council vacated by City Councilman Rod Tam, of the 6th District, who decided to retire in order to run for mayor of Honolulu. In the 10-candidate nonpartisan open primary in September 2010, Gabbard finished first with 33% of the vote. In the November 2nd runoff election she defeated Sesnita Mopono, 58% to 42%. Gabbard introduced a measure to help food truck vendors by loosening parking restrictions. She also introduced Bill 54, a measure that authorized city workers to confiscate personal belongings stored on public property with 24 hours notice to its owner. After overcoming opposition from the American Civil Liberties Union, ACLU, and Occupy Hawaii, Bill 54 passed and became City Ordinance 1129. United States House of Representatives, 2013 to 2021, 2012 election and first term, 113th Congress, in early 2011, Maisie Hirono, the incumbent Democratic U.S. Representative for Hawaii's 2nd Congressional District, announced that she would run for the United States Senate. In May 2011, Gabbard announced her candidacy for Hirono's House seat. The Democratic mayor of Honolulu, Mufi Hanman, was the best-known candidate in the six-way primary, but Gabbard won with 62,882 votes, 55%. The Honolulu Star Advertiser called her win an improbable rise from a distant underdog to victory. After winning the primary, Gabbard resigned from the city council on August 16, in order to focus on her congressional campaign, and to prevent the cost of holding a special election. As the Democratic nominee, Gabbard spoke at the 2012 Democratic National Convention in Charlotte, North Carolina, at the invitation of House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, who called Gabbard an emerging star. As expected in heavily Democratic Hawaii, she won the general election on November 6, 2012, defeating Republican Kawika Crowley by 168,503 to 40,707 votes, 80.6% minus 19.4%, becoming the first voting Samoan American and first Hindu member of Congress. 
In December 2012, Gabbard applied to be considered for appointment to the U.S. Senate seat vacated by the death of Daniel Inouye. Despite support from some prominent, 